This is Joe. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I created an illustration called Location Matters. This is my rendition of Cerebral White Matter and Cerebral Gray Matter. Please recall in the previous lecture called H is for Horn, we talked about gray matter in the spinal cord and white matter in the spinal cord and the posterior horn also called the dorsal horn and we talked about the lateral gray horn. We also talked about the anterior horn also called the ventral horn. We describe the gray matter in the spinal cord as it resembles an H, and some say the gray matter looks like a butterfly in the spinal cord. I'd like to point out the cross-sectional anatomy at different parts of the spinal cord have the gray matter shape changing. The H shape, or the butterfly shape, changes up and down the spinal cord. Now, a mature spinal cord shows white matter peripheral to the gray matter. The illustration we have here of the brain, not the spinal cord, shows gray matter peripheral to the white matter. Now this gray matter contains glia and cell bodies of neurons. Now the gray matter in the spinal cord constitutes the dorsal horn column, lateral horn column, ventral horn column, and also an intermediate column. Now the white matter is a collection of myelinated fibers. I hope this helps you in your future studies.